Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Imperium ride here today for part 61 ahead of the Mexico Grand Prix. It's going to be a sunny race and this is the grid ahead of the Grand Prix. So it is an all Mercedes front row headed by George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, P2, then it's Bottas and Lando Norris, Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, we are P7, Gasly's P8, Piaggi P9, Joe P10, then it's Proter and Dennis Hauger, Ocon and Max Verstappen, Liam Lawson and Lance Stroll, Yuki Sonoda and Enzo Fittipaldi, Alex Albon and Logan Sargent, and on the final row of the grid is the two horses headed by Nick De Vries. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix. It's going to be a sunny race unlike the one here last season when it rained for most of it and we never really got into the Inters till towards the end. This is our qualifying lap though that I thought was fairly good but it wasn't good enough and we were all the way down. We're going to be doing a one stop starting on the softs going to the mediums so let's go then to the mexican grand prix we're racing in mexico we've got a fairly average start off the line we've already got one ferrari we're going to go to the inside of the other one to get to the slipstream of the mclaren as we head down towards the long run down into turn one we're going to go for it late we make contact with lewis hamilton and we're going to try to turn it into the side of us We've gone over turn one, but Hamilton stopped, Leclerc's been strong the curb, and we've gone straight on to turn three and hit the wall, and that has brought out a first corner red flag here in Mexico, it's all kicked off at the first corner. This is a replay of what happened there, so we've gone deep on Hamilton, he's turned into us, and then continued to turn into us, and then we've just driven into the wall. And that's that front wing. We could get away with only the front wing damage there. This is Lewis Hamilton's point of view. And the rage comes up and then just continues to turn into the side of us and then parks it on turn two. I don't really know what he's doing now. No, he's at the, the dive on very late, but still, you can't continue to turn when there's a car there. So we're going to onto the mediums now. Drastic change of strategy after doing three corners here we go then take two here in mexico we're racing once again from p2 can we get george off the line it looks like we may just have as we head down yes we have we've taken the lead off the mexico grand prix george's gone backwards it's an into pressure now from the ferrari down into turn one we lead and this side by side can george keep the pin around the outside that turns into the inside line but no the ferrari's just got his nose ahead now it's a traction rate off of turn three and george russell just hangs on he stays ahead of the ferrari what a battle that was and everyone else behind flooding through can we get away and make this back-to-back -back wins in mexico as we all fled through that corner, can George get after us and retake the lead off the Grand Prix? And the answer was nearly yes. As we go on to lap four, George is all over the back of us. He's in the slipstream. There's nothing we can do about that. We're going to go and try to defend to the inside. And George is too far back to do anything. As we go into turn one, the two Ferraris are going wheel to wheel. It's Leclerc ahead of Sainz and it's back and forth who gets the exit off of the third corner it looks like Leclerc has as now George is having another look at us down into turn four the two Ferraris are still going at it they're still side by side round the outside I think it goes Charles Leclerc and science though does get ahead in the end this is us lap seven we were starting to pull away from George, just keeping it outside the DRS. If you go through now, we've dropped it, we've spun round at the final corner, we've gone back across the track, we've been hit by Gasly. There's Bottas just stopped right in front of us, in the middle of the track, it's another safety car, and it's his second red flag of the afternoon. We've had seven racing laps and two red flags. What is going on? 
here in Mexico, we've just dropped it all on our own. George is gone, thank you and very, very much there. This is Lando Norris's point of view. He was further back in the queue as now he goes round and he just taps the back of Bottas and just decides to stop. And that is where the red flag comes from, I think, not the fact that Spur, the fact Bottas just decides to park it and gives a wave as we also blocks us off and there's Hamilton hitting the back of Lando Norris and Piastri getting himself mixed up in it as well he hits the back of Lewis Hamilton it's like the M25 at that final corner as Lewis Stroll is hitting now Pichet still gets his front wing ripped off he hits the back of his teammate nearly gets away with it Joe though sees what's occurring and gains many positions in that time but what's the start to this race two red flags we're gonna go to the mediums again we thought about the softs but the mediums can it get us to the end of the race that is the interesting question the softs can't but can the mediums we'll have to see but though can we actually get some racing in the five red lights are back on for the third time we're racing here in Mexico, we've got a decent start there, heading down the straight now, but George Russell leads, we're in the slipstream of everyone trying to find a way through, back to the front, it's George who leads into the first corner, Joe's going to go around the outside, we go around the outside of the Alfa Tauri there, we're side by side with the Ferrari, we're up into P3, and look at Liam Lawson, Liam Lawson's P4 Alfa Tauri, been nowhere this season but it's Joe and George Russell wheel to wheel into turn four we're just gonna try and find a gap to maybe go down the inside we're gonna send it down the inside late on George Russell and take P2 Joe out of absolutely nowhere in this Grand Prix leads it as now Liam Lawson overtook George Russell and Liam Lawson's going for P2 as he tries to go down the inside of us we hold it round the outside that Alpha Tauri should not be anywhere near a podium they've been really really poor this season they got the first point so back in Miami as now George is going to try and go to the outside of Liam Lawson keeps it pinned round the outside now has the inside line Lawson is on the soft so he's going to have to stop at some point as now he keeps George behind and he's coming back for more is Liam Lawson down the inside into turn one we hold it around the outside once again meanwhile at the front though Joey's just pulling away we haven't really got the pace in these opening stages of the Grand Prix and now Liam Lawson trying to go down the inside as we go a bit deep we fend him off though there's starting to be a bit of a train behind us not to the levels of Zambor this season but it is starting to pile up a little bit as now the Lawson is going to go to the inside he's heading down into turn one he's further alongside this side time he's up into P2 we do the switch back and go back down the inside at turn three we catch him nothing there but we're now we're side by side George Russell now though he's all over the back trying to find a way through if any of us make a mistake we're gonna go do the up and under once again we're gonna try and cut him back but George Russell's tapped us round he's clipped our rear tyre we're off onto the grass as we try and get going again the safety car is out once again we have to give the place back to George we've dropped P3 what drama here in Mexico Liam Lawson is ahead we are p3 now i don't really know why we've had to let george free bit like the science situation back in monza we're all over the back of him now because i really felt we should have been in front but we're down to p4 it's only losing two positions in that contact with george russell it's probably good going there but as we come to the end of lap 18 it is time to go racing again we're halfway 
half race distance, we're right alongside George Russell. Joe though gets a hammer down and everyone is boxing. Joe's in from the lead, Liam Lawson's in from the lead. And the soft runners who could have easily boxed under the safety cars, waited till the safety cars come in. As now George is having us for the lead down the inside. And what's turned into P3 is now P1 as we keep George behind. And now we're down the pit straight once again, lap 22. We're going to go to the inside now is George Russell. We hold it to the outside. George takes the lead of the Grand Prix. We're going to break later. Try to go around the outside. Bottas now is getting in on the, on the party for the lead as we keep ahead now of George Russell. We've pulled a gap coming out of turn, turn three. As now George is coming under threat from Valtteri Bottas and also the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. As Bottas tries to go around the outside of George, who's going to get the exit. It looks like George has, he's, he's just the nose ahead. Coming out of turn three, but now the side by side. Bottas is going to have the inside line for turn four. Can he get the job done? George is going to hold it around the outside, he's made contact once here this race with us. He's nearly made contact with Bottas, he has to back out, Bottas now up into P2 and that's allowed us to pull a small gap for a brief while because lap 26, Bottas is back on the back of us, I think Bottas and George have made contact because George has dropped miles back now as we go back around the outside of Valtteri Bottas to retake the lead of the Grand Prix as now Leclerc has overtaken George Russell. George Russell starting to drop back a little bit here as now Bottas with the DRS once again into turn one is going at it and he's got us into turn one if we weren't late on the brakes once again keep it pinned round the outside time and time again We've done this in the race, but we haven't got a good exit off the turn three. Bottas now is going to go to the outside and retake the lead of the Grand Prix. We're still a nose in though at the inside, forcing wide. He has to back out. And now Charles Leclerc is in on the act as well for the lead of the Grand Prix. As now we head through the twisty section this is Leclerc having a go at Bottas he's got a great exit Leclerc down the inside of Bottas is the contact I think this just survived it Bottas really cuts across Charles Leclerc now into the stadium section as we were just keeping going lap 27 Mark wanted us to pit that's not happening whatsoever there's only nine laps to go the tyres weren't that bad we are with a shot with the wind there, we're not bottling it just to have a pit stop. As now Leclerc is going to go to the inside of Bottas. Down now into turn one. Has Leclerc got the job done? Yes he has. Bottas down to P3. Leclerc up to P1. Bottas is tired to drop back. As Leclerc now is in for the lead of the Grand Prix. The lead has changed so many times in this Grand Prix. We're in the slipstream of Leclerc. We're going to go to the outside. We're going to keep doing what we've done all race long. And keep it pinned around the outside of Charles Leclerc. And this is allowed Bottas back in on the act as well. Bottas is going to go to the inside. We're going to be double teamed here. Bottas has got a great slipstream off of Leclerc. But he, we've really squeezed him to the to the inside and Leclerc is somehow stayed ahead of of the Red Bull there. It's now down into the stadium section, Leclerc is going to try and go to our outside. We've run a bit wide, he's going to try and cut through the cut back. But we fend him off as now we head towards the first corner. Round the final corner, now down the pitch trades. They're so close to us now, we're going to be a sitting duck this time as Leclerc goes to the outside, inside and 
Oh, side by side, look at the double swing strings and Valtteri Bottas, we're really squeezing, we've made contact with Bottas, we've lost the back end, we're going sideways through turn one, we've made contact with Bottas, everyone's just driving into each other, we've had to spin ourselves round, many drivers have made contact, look at the debris flying up in the air, Lewis Hamilton's stuck, as we spin round again because the tyres are on fire after the spin, as we get going again, the safety car, I believe, is very nearly, surely, has to come out there. Yes, it is. The safety car is out. This is what happened. This is what was happening though. Further back, and I think this has been hit, and he's been hit twice. The first time he's ripped off his front tire as he hits the back of the McLaren. This is Dennis Hogan now. Is he the culprit? He is the culprit of taking out Sonoda. And then his bit is the other McLaren that's absolutely sent Sonoda flying once he retired from the Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton also beached on the car. This is Joe, this is, he made the contact. Joe once leading the Grand Prix, that seems like a long while ago, and takes out his front wing there as well. There's a lot of drivers ghosting. This is Gaz's point of view, as he just stopped and he's just hit the back of the Aston Martin, taking a hit his tyre and he's just been hit as well. It's like bowling balls out there. This is Liam Lawson, once in with a shout of the Grand Prix over to Hinton Williams and heading to turn one. And you can see the car park and he's hit the back of oh, Pierre Gasly, he's out, he's taking himself out as well. This is absolutely chaos at Turn 1 and only a safety car as well for the red flags we've had in this Grand Prix. It's only a, a safety car for this and Lewis Hamilton stopped and then beached himself on the curb and because he isn't moving, he's been disqualified from the Grand Prix. I think he, has he been hit? No, he's just driven forward, beached himself on the shotted curb, and now he's been disqualified from the Mexico Grand Prix. This race is unbelievable. It's now from 33, you can see his beach is not going anywhere, and then he's just been disqualified by the FIA for not moving. And um, Porche has hit the back of. of a car there and then reversed back and then driven over the grass and through Lewis Hamilton and goes to Williams there but anyway lap 30 we catch the back of the key he still wants us to pick this mark and that's not happening we've dropped though it's P10 from the lead we make that contact with Bottas Spinning this round sideways across turn one. As now everyone into the pits, it's the two McLarens, both of them having the front wing ripped off. But the lead McLaren off Joe for hitting the back of Yuki Sonoda has had to take a five second time penalty and a new front wing and of course tyres. And all the meantime, Lando Norris is dropping further and further back. He's also got a penalty. It's over for McLaren in this race when they were in, in for a shot of the lead at one stage. As now we've got, there's a penalty in the way as well. As now heading down into turn one, you might have seen someone peel off in the background because the game has boxes there. We didn't want to pit. The game though, Mark wanted us to pit. The game's taken over during the safety car period and we are last. Okay, it's made us pit the one stop I didn't to want to do. And now, in what could realistically be only two or three laps, by the time the safety car has come in, if it even does come in, we are going to have to do is that Bottas, Bottas is pulling over to retire from the Grand Prix as well. We can't get enough of these retirements in this Grand Prix. Bottas in for a shout. Everyone who was pretty much in for a shout of the lead 
including us really because we're down at the back has been out of this Grand Prix George Russell realistically has let the chaos go on around him but he's dropped out because George is also out of the Grand Prix as well he's retired under the safety car what is happening here in Mexico but all I know is we're down now right at the back we have three racing laps we're on the softs the only thing we can do is go forward to recover of what is left of this Grand Prix this mega Grand Prix we get closer and closer closer and from we're going to absolutely send it down inside the cut the corner a little bit we're going to go around the outside of two cars there that's a great move we're up into several positions we're going to try and do it again on the Ferrari and the Alfa Romeo we can't do that we're too far back but we're still going to go for it down the inside at the next corner on the one remaining Alfa Romeo in Enzo Fittipaldi we're on the back now of the Ferrari as we just I don't even care what we're doing how we overtake them we're just going forward as we're on lap 35 of 36 this is turning into the most dramatic end to a Grand Prix ever we send it late down the side of the Ferrari now we're going to go down round the outside of the Aston Martin can we get the exit now and after the Williams as now we head down the back straight we're going to go late to the inside of the Williams up next to it is the McLaren McLaren are still going there's a harsh in the points of Kevin Magnussen but Magnussen has a five second time penalty because of the incident we're up back into the points we're back into P8 we overtake Joe now next up is Dennis Hauger for P7 Magnussen though is only just up the road we're getting closer and closer to the back of Dennis Hauger in what was briefly looking like a fairly good race for Alfa Tauri has disappeared but he is in the points it's now round the stadium section up next is Kevin Magnussen as we will go on to the final lap of this Grand Prix we've gone to the outside of Magnussen now Magnussen being really aggressive chops us off we thought about going to the inside but against Magnussen that's never a bright idea but we're gonna have the exit compared to his hard tyres and our very very grippy softs we're gonna go to the outside now and round the outside going into the S section up next is our teammate Oscar Piastri I think that's too far gone as now Magnussen is done round the outside of the McLaren but in what has been a chaotic Grand Prix Charles Leclerc wins it for Stappen P2 Esteban Ocon comes home to P3 and we are going to come home then for the thin air makes this event a brutal one for these Formula 1 cars but this team have done a fantastic job to make it to the chequer flag and take a well-earned victory today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? A reliable car, that was the most important factor here. This was a real battle of attrition, and you could tell those at the front were trying to find a balance between running their outright pace and taking care of the car to reach the end. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. Have you ever seen a race like that? What a Grand Prix. Two red flags as well. And then the probably only red flag that should have been a red flag was only a safety car. But Charles Leclerc then survived the chaos around him to win the Grand Prix. Max Verstappen, out of absolutely nowhere, everyone else crashing around him, has also found his way onto the podium. The top three really uh, are the only ones that have kept their nose clean. We've also jumped Piastri. Piastri had a penalty, so somehow 
now in this grab three with finish p4 joe p5 after he boxed early on from the lead made contact had that penalty as well somehow finishes p5 but look at the dnfs only only 16 cars finished that grand prix lewis hamilton is his dnf but he was disqualified for getting beached on the curb but look at the rest of them george russell bottas both retiring under the safety car sonoda getting caught up in that crash also was gasly and liam lawson who was looking for the lead at one stage of the Grand Prix. This is what it means though for the Drivers World Championship. We have a 48 point lead over Max Verstappen. He's jumped both of the Mercedes as Max Verstappen as it is a double Mercedes DNF. He's gained though on us this weekend only a little bit but we can wrap up the title and be a three time champion of the world next time out in Brazil. Piastri has gained some points as well down at the back though even though Magnussen finished in the points he had that five second time penalty which means Haas are still pointless this season unfortunately for him that's that's one of those races where you just got to keep going and Magnussen did but just that five second time penalty has cost Haas today some points this is the constructors though Mercedes stay on 314 points we close the gap to 30 but that's still quite a big gap with three races and a sprint race to go this season but that's one of the races double mercedes dnf we have to finish one two me and piastri but piastri hasn't finished higher than fifth all season long so that's been yeah very very chaotic mexican grand prix probably the best race of the career mode so many dnfs so many crashes even a disqualification in there as well we go to brazil next for our final sprint weekend of the season and we could well leave that race a free time champion of the world i'll see you then